Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 28th of 2023. Well, it is titled Messier 24 Sagittarius star cloud. So what do we see here? Well, this is not a star cluster or galaxy or anything like that that we often see with the Messier objects. This is actually an opening within our own galaxy and giving us a view in towards the central portions of our galaxy. What that means is it's just a region where the dust concentration is a lot less and we can see further into our galaxy than we normally can. Essentially, the central portions of our galaxy are invisible to us in ordinary light. And that's because of the dust clouds. Dust blocks out light from behind it and keeps us from seeing through. Now we do see a couple of dusty concentrations toward the center here even within this uh, opening. And those are just dark dusty areas. They are not emptiness. Those are not empty parts of space. Those are simply areas where the dust concentrations are so much higher that that dust scattered out over many light years blocks out all of the light from behind it and keeps us from seeing through into that area. So this region around Messier 24 is one area where we can actually see into the central regions of our galaxy. Are we getting all the way to the center? No, but we're certainly being able to see an um, area much further away than we normally can see when we look in the directions of the plane of the Milky Way, maybe 10,000 light years away. Now, considering that our galaxy is 100,000 light years across, that's still only seeing a tiny portion of the way around it or even a tiny portion of the way from our location toward the center of the galaxy. But we are seeing much further and getting an idea of how many stars are simply invisible to us because we cannot see them because of dust within our galaxy. So because of that, we observe at other wavelengths. Things like infrared will allow us to penetrate the dust better. Dust is scattered, scatters the short wavelengths of light. So the longer the wavelength, the better it is able to penetrate through the dust and to reach us here on Earth. So things like infrared uh, wavelengths, which are much longer than ordinary visible wavelengths, are better able to penetrate. And if we looked at this region in the infrared, those areas that seem very dark would also be found to be filled with millions of stars, just as the other areas we see around are. So you can see how t densely packed the stars are here. They're not really close together. We're just looking at stars that are uh, varying distances away and they get more and more crowded as we tend to look at them. Now if the dust were not present at all, this would be the brightest area in the sky because it would be filled with so many stars that every direction that you looked, your line of sight would reach another star. So if we try could look toward the center of the galaxy, it would be the brightest object in the sky, much as it is the brightest radio source in the sky, radio wavelengths being very long and e easily able to penetrate through that dust. And the area around Sagittarius, where the center of our galaxy is located, is the brightest radio source in the sky. So that was our picture of the day for June 28th of 2023. It was titled Messier 24 Sagittarius Star Cloud. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.